World number one, Russell Meyer versus world number two, Julian Dassonville. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the second semi-final. Who will be joining al -Sharif? Will it be Dassonville for France, or will it be Russell Meyer for Denmark? This is definitely one to watch. Now, Russell Meyer was probably in, I would say, the hardest quarter-final. Really well pushed all the way by Canini, no doubt about it. Yeah, he was. I thought Canini played really well. Canini took the lead as well in that quarter-final, but Rosenmeyer dug deep and managed to get a couple of goals. And as we've already said, just on Dassonville, he managed to beat the Spaniard Adai Sanchez 1-0. And it was Argentina that night as well as he is now against Brazil. This will be a great game, great game. It'll be fantastic. Quick play down the wing immediately coming out from Dassonville, trying to get the ball in. He was pressured early on in his uh, quarter-final, took him till the second half, but once he got there, oh, that little fancy little footwork, and oh, that, oh. that looked like a little, little nudge, maybe. But a, yeah, I was no. going to say it was a little pullback. There was a mm. wonderful skill and turn, almost 360 degrees to get him away, but there was obviously a little offside there. The referee pulls them back, gives the ball back to Rosenmeyer and Brazil. Oh, immediately, let's see how he works this one. We've, of course, just seen how his finalist has played. He's going to be watching this one tensely. Now, Shuri, who will he face at the moment? Very calm, cool, collected, and confident passing from both these players. Not really losing out on that passing. That pass percentage is going to be very high. Rossemeyer, cheeky little run down the wing there, immediately brings it back, gets himself to Neymar. He's going to have a little shooting chance here, tries to go through, but he gets bustled off the ball by Dassonville there at the last second. Yeah, and this defender was Philippe Ruiz, great defending because it looked as though he was just going to pull the trigger there for Rosenmeyer and get a shot on target but very good defending from Julian Dassonville yeah fantastic stuff Dassonville now clearing his lines keeping the ball keeping possession going from left to right wing maybe we're not maybe down. we shouldn't be surprised that it's still a little bit cagey isn't oh, it oh yeah no doubt about no, it we haven't really seen those that oh, big open spaces there's no real huge you know area for someone to be running into from 15 20 yards if you've run the ball, there's normally an opposition man pretty close to you. Yeah, these players, of course, playing for a, not only a place in the final, but that $20,000 on the line, as well as, more importantly, that prize of being at the Ballon d'Or. Now, Rossemeyer's been there before with you, mm. and I think he wants to be there again. Well, I'm not surprised. It's a rather lovely evening. Yeah. With Messi, Ronaldo and Cole. It's a pretty good night, and it's certainly a fantastic prize if you get to the final and become the FIWC champion. Oh, there's no foul there, Lee. That was a good tackle, actually. William coming out, Marcelo passing the ball, using the width, nicely done. Hulk down the wing now. You can see Neymar's getting himself set up, gets some ball across towards him, but it's going to have a long way to go. Needs to pass it wide, back to Marcelo. Marcelo trying to get it down the wing. He's got William with him. He's going to play it back, and this is, this is really cagey stuff from these two. They had a chance at going for it, but he didn't want to lose possession. It was a risky play, oh, and that was a risky tackle. He's going to have to go and get his foot in on that one. David Luiz coming out on top. Yeah, he did. He had to win the tackle as well, didn't he? It was a good challenge from Rosenmeyer's Brazil, keeping possession. Had the ball now for, goodness knows, 10, 11, 12 passes, but it's so deep and so far away from the goal that there's nothing really for Julian Dassenville as of yet to be worried about too much. Barcelona-esque, playing it around the back, keeping hold of that ball and just probing. Waiting for a moment, maybe this is it, William. No, gets cut off by the defenders, tries to use Sandro, tries to draw it in towards the middle, and again, just buying time to get Neymar free in that box, waiting to get the ball across. This may be it, William's got a little free time, gets the ball across, but quickly gets battered off, and Di Maria gets the, clears the lines. First time William got down the right-hand side, it's a good ball into the near post, but again, Dassenville's defenders and his team of Argentina are up to the job. Wonderful defending. Remember, Rossemeyer's only let in two goals in this entire tournament. Scored 12, very much in command, and that's proven. You saw the stats come out there. Look at that, passing 90% oh, pass. passing for Dassenville, but that's going to oh. be Neymar through. But and he used the keeper to clear the lines. A little panic defending from Dassonville, starting to get pressured slowly. The pass was beautiful, wasn't it? Right in that inside left position, into the box. Just couldn't quite manage to get Neymar onto the ball. Here he is now, though. Trying to skip through, buys time, gets the ball to Marcello. To Fernandinho. Oscar's just ahead of him. He's going to use William on the wing. Going to keep hold of the possession, keep 
pushing it through. Neymar really wants that ball. There's going to be William. He's got time for the cross this time around. Then Neymar's going to step back. Can he get a shot off? No, it gets blocked off. And again, Dassonville gets the better of him. But this is starting to get pressured now. He's going to have to clear his lines, but it's a little panic defending. Well, he had to be there as well because I thought that was going to end up in the back of the net. The majority of possession is definitely with Rosenmeyer, and it's in that forward third where you don't want it to be. But got to say, Dassenville's defending has been excellent. Here's maybe a chance for him now with Argentina. He's got Aguero down the wing. He's going to cut on through. He's past one. Can he get a second? Oh, a little fancy footwork. Not quite going to work out. Nice, oh, a little trickster. But now Oscar's got himself a lot of free room here. He's got Neymar just to the side of him. But he needs to. Oh, he's bought. That's a great little pass there. Neymar passes it back to Marcello, tries a little through ball, he's got to be offside. But the defender was. will get on top of it. Yeah, I think he probably was off time. Referee lets that play on as a little back header into the arms of goalkeeper Romero. Well, as we thought, with only, what, five minutes to go in the first half, the majority of possession is with the defending champion, but that goal is still eluding him, and it's still nil-nil. Maybe unsurprisingly, Lee. Yeah, very tense stuff between these two players. As you say, getting close to the first half, but once again, De Maria down the wing, tries to cut it into Aguero. Does have a man there, but there's so many defenders in the way. He struggled to get past them. The counter-attack opportunity for Rosenmeyer is going to get slowed down. He seems to be happy keeping possession, doesn't he? Yeah. You know, even though the ball goes that, what, 30 yards into the middle of the park, the park the, you know, he's happy to keep possession, take his time, keep a cool head, and we're going to have, what is that, just the one added minute. You can tell these players have faced each other a number of times. Just the way, the confidence in their passing. Rossemeyer definitely, as you mentioned, coming out on top in the possession. And the ball has been sitting in Dassonville's half for the majority of the game, but not really any shots to count for it from Rossemeyer. Yeah, this is a big half, isn't it? I think they've weighed each other up enough. They know what each other's about. And as we said, Rossemeyer probably just has the majority of possession. Maybe the chance for to get the ball into the box here, a check back from. Philip Luis, Neymar, and he gives the ball away again. Tevez doing the defending all the way back there, clearing his lines. Torojo does manage to get the ball clear to Perea down the wing, to Perez, up to Di Maria. Does manage to get a hold of it. That's maybe going to get past the defence. Yes, it is. Another little through ball, but a good tackle comes out from Rossemeyer. Now Sandro with possession down the wing, slows it down. By his time for his players to get back in position. Jagger Silva to Philip Luis. Not seen a lot of Messi coming out from Dassonville in this game. No, not really. Barely heard his name, barely seen him at all. Is he playing him a little deeper, possibly, or is he, is he way up top? He's got to get him on the ball, obviously, hasn't he? I think it's just, just the fact that Rossemeyer's been keeping yeah. the ball so deep in Dassonville's half, he's not been able to get it in the game. Neymar lays it off. William gets it through. Oh, not quite going to get to Neymar, though. And again, the defending is solid from Dassonville. Still really yet to see a shot coming out from Rossemeyer. Beautiful little chip over the top. Really unlucky. Oh, 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 oh. He's got himself free. Neymar's free as well, you can oh. see. But that's going to be a corner now. Got to say, Julian Dassenfield's defending has been excellent. Absolutely excellent. Any time you think that Rosenmeyer's going to get in behind the Argentinian defence and Julian Dassenfield have been absolutely fantastic so far. Rosenmeyer scored from a short corner in the quarterfinals, tries it again, does manage to get the flick in, but couldn't get ahead of the defender this time. But he does lose possession inside the box, just drags it back. Silva trying something fancy, but Fernandinho can't get a hold of it. And it's Aguero, of all people, back there defending. Not a lot of room out there. Three against one, keeps possession, ball back in, keeps it alive. It's gone quite a long way back. They need to start all over again and the build up. We're getting to that hour mark, 60 minutes, 60 minutes, noch 30 to spiele, another 30 minutes to play. Not too long left in this one. Who is going to get the goal? Is it going to be Rossemeyer? He keeps on probing, he keeps on testing, but again, the ball just last second gets cleared, tries a little through ball, not going to work, and the counter-attack opportunity is now on. Aguero plays it back to Perez, back down to the wing to Di Maria, and now we see Dassonville using his defenders to switch the wings. I was going to say, I know we're not at extra time yet, but of course that's what it will be. If it's nil-nil at full time, we will have an extra 30 minutes. And of course then, if there's still a draw after that extra time, we will of course have penalties. Both of these players reading each other's play so well. They know what they're trying to do. Everybody knows their tactics. When you're the world champion like Ross and Meyer, a lot of people tend to study your game. 
And that's on Vils coming into this one. Very experienced, will know exactly what he's up against in Ross and Meyer. But now that's on Vils with a chance to attack. He's going to use Messi for what seems to be the first time in the game, but it gets clattered off the ball. David Luiz, no messing with that tackle, got the ball cleanly and quickly gets it away. I was just about to say, that was like the real thing there. <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely just like the real thing. Messi on the ball for Barcelona and David Luiz for PSG coming yeah. in. And hitting them with one of his trademark challenges. Listen, we're, we're, we're on 70 minutes now. Who changes tactics first? Or is there any change of tactics? Do they need to do that? Well, and who's going to feel the most confident? rossomar has got to be thinking, I'm doing pretty well here. I've had good, good solid possession. Now he's got Neymar, tries to get a little bit of freedom. He's got a man in the box, but he's got himself an offside position, so he wasn't able to pass it. And now it's Tevez down the wing to slow things down for Dassonville once again. Plays it back to the keeper. Well, that is confidence. Well, we know that Julian Dassonville is a pretty confident boy. He's quite happy to bring the ball back, take his time, build the play up again. He hasn't seen much of the ball, to be fair. And this is his chance to have a bit of possession and try and create a chance. And like you say, do they go for a change? Is anybody feeling a little winded out there? A lot of running going on. No doubt about it. Hulk to William. William down the wing. He's got Neymar just getting back in from an offside position, set himself up. This is a good little attack from Rossomai, but it was quickly dispatched off. And now it's going to be Dassonville down the wing. Aguero plays it through, gets a nice pass to Di Maria. He's got one in the box. He's ahead of the defender. He will manage to get ahead, but he's just a little too far from goal. Tries to cut it back. And it's David Luiz once again with the clearance, but he gets intercepted. Messi gets on the end of it. Can he get into the box? And again, it's just so many members of Rossomai get in the way, trying to slow things down. Tevez cannot get the ball free. And just he's forced to play it from one side to the next. I was going to say, just when you think it's building up and someone's going to create that opportunity, there's just that final pass or there's an extra defender. And both of them have played really, really well. Solid stuff. Ten minutes to go in the game. That was a valid interception. Oh. Oscar does oh. manage to get hold of it. Oh, I thought so. <laughs> that last defender does keep hold of the possession. And again, it's Dassonville to play it slowly. Well, just now, so Dassonville had it at the back there. I'm sure my heart was in my mouth. I'm sure <laughs> his was as well, because I just thought he'd lost possession of the ball. But thankfully for Julian, he kept possession and he builds again. This looks like it may well be going to extra time. The first semi-final ended up just 1-0 for al -Shari. But it looks like Dassonville is not going to let Rossemeyer through. You can see possession very much equal now. Just like the quarterfinals, Dassenfield's definitely worked himself into it in this second half of the match. I think you're right. I think maybe the next goal will be fair to say Ooh. he might just win this. That's a good ball. Not quite going to get ahead of the defender, Silva. Just uses his strength, shoulder barges his way into that and gets hold of the ball. It might be fair to say psychologically, maybe as we head for extra time, maybe just Rosemar will be a little happier with a, the possession he's had, and B, what he's managed to do with the ball. Dassonville's been happy to defend, keep Rosenmeyer at bay, and maybe he's got a few tricks up his sleeve for us in extra time. That's just it. Despite Rosenmeyer's solid possession throughout the first half, we really haven't seen many shots. So, extra time is beckoning. Do we see any change coming out? I can hear a few little changes going on. I'm going yeah, to take just... a little peek. It looks like both players... Well, there was a couple a of players, switches. I think, mm. you know, like you said, there's a lot of running being done by the players. There's certainly a couple of players have picked up small injuries, and this will be the opportunity for them just to change. I don't know in terms of, I don't think it looks as though Rosenmeier's changing tactics in terms of formation. I think we might be ready to rock and roll, guys. Here we go. 30 minutes of extra time. Diego Costa on for Fernandinho. So that was the change for Rosenmeier. Gustavo on for Oscar as well. So... Rossomar making two changes. I'm think, pretty sure I saw Dassonville making one as well. There's Higuain on for Di Maria. So, a little change on the wing. Not the standard position. Oh, there we go. Levetzi's come on for Guerrero. So, Levetzi's been moved to the wing and Higuain up front. And now there is Higuain to Levetzi. Levetzi did so much for Dassonville in the quarterfinals. It was Levetzi that managed to get the winning goal. Let's see if it works out for him again. Rossomar. Got pinned in a little there in his own box. He's struggling to clear his lines. There is, of course, the scenario where neither want to make a mistake, Lee. No, they are being a little cautious, certainly maybe taking that Whoa. extra pass. And they'll give the ball away there. But, they, you know, no one wants to make that little mistake that is quite simply going to make the difference in this game between these two fantastic players. Maybe that's the first little bit of pressure we've seen from Ross and Meyer there. It was only in the middle of the park, so it didn't really cost him too much. But just a little miss pass starts to show that the pressure is absolutely building nobody wants to get a penalty so everybody wants to get this goal in extra time 
plenty of time to play for though but we're already up to the 98th minute 10 minutes of this extra time already gone and the clock's ticking ever so quickly as the players they're struggling to get this ball out of the middle of the park at the moment they're both a little midfield battle yeah, it really has been a midfield battle. This is going to be that little bit of quality in the final third from either of the players. It's going to split them. Oh, all. that's a bad mistake. Diego Costa through. Rossemeyer gets oh, himself he's missed through. It. He's missed it. He's put it on the side netting. I'm pretty certain. Yeah, yes, it's not a goal. It's oh, the side netting. My word, what an opportunity. Just as I was saying, that was a golden be... opportunity. Oh, wow. Wow. What a chance. What a chance. Wow. And that really, that, that, puts, that puts a serious problem. Maybe that could be a little bit of doubt for Rossomai. He knows that was his chance. And now we can see Dassonville. He's got Lavetti through. He's got men in the box. They're ready and waiting. Can he get the cross through? He does manage to buy himself a little bit of time. Tries to rustle his way through. There it is. Gets the man on the ball, but he can't turn in time. It was Messi. Of all people that could quickly turn and have a shot. But he instead was the man that created the foul. And Silva, well, he wants to get a close little short pass here, and you can see Dassonville's trying to rustle his chimneys there and keep him pressured, but now again, it's Ross and Meyer. Just one minute of extra time in this first half of extra time. Oh, and that was a bad mistake. Oof. We're starting to see mistakes coming out of the players. Yeah, we are. I'm not surprised with that. Obviously, <clears throat> as in the real life, you know, players get tired. That also relates itself to the game, and that's why they make the changes to make sure they've got fresh legs fresh ideas, but so far there is absolutely no splitting, but there's no question that was a guilt, guilt edge chance that Rosemeyer misses there as he goes through with Costa. One on one on goal, that's, that's where you've got to score, it's where these players have spent hours upon hours playing this game, understanding the mechanics and just a little bit of pressure finally getting to Rosemeyer. Cool, calm and collected players that these two have been. They know the penalties are now beckoning. 15 minutes on the clock, nobody wants to be there. No, absolutely, because then it genuinely is. Just like the real thing, it can be a really, so much of a lottery, to be honest, and you, know, you really will need a cool head if you get to penalties. I used to not like penalties. Even the thought of going to penalties was making me try harder an extra time that we didn't actually go to penalties in the end. Nevertheless, we're not there just quite yet. Another 15 minutes to go, can we get that goal we've been looking for? Oh, there's only 10 minutes left now. The clock's been ticking for so long. This Rossomai, though, getting himself a little opportunity, tries to get a bit of freedom, but quickly once again, as has been the story of the game, Dasselville closes him down, gets the tackle in, and now Messi lays it off. Higuain, he's got Messi free on the wing. Messi does manage to get the ball through, but again, quickly closed down by the defence. Oh, that's a bit of freedom. Higuain, can he get through on this one? He needs a little tap shot, but oh, it was too easy. Offside. And it's because he was offside. Yeah, offside. It could have been much in that one. There have been a couple of offsides, and I certainly think they've been very, very close things. An offside trap being sprung once again. Ross and Meyer tries to work it down the wing. Hulk, not the man you ordinary, ordinarily would see building up the play, but everything being called into Ross and Meyer's arsenal here to try and keep him in this game. And Louise tries a little through ball, but Tevez read it well, and Ross Dassenville cuts it out once again. <laughs> Just five minutes remaining. Full time now, and we're going to be going to penalties. Could be. We need another mistake. Well, same. We need another mistake. None. Nobody wants to make a mistake naturally, but this is when I was talking about absolute full concentration is needed to make sure that there's no mistakes. And if it has to go to penalties, then so be it, because they've both played fantastically well. And in fact, really, there was only that real one chance that maybe Rosenmeier could have nicked us. Solid setup, Dassonville. Plays the ball around his back line, keeping hold of possession. It looks like penalties are beckoning, but Rossenmeyer has managed to get hold of the ball. The last ditch effort. There's 120 minutes on the clock. You can see the whistle pending. Will not be able to get hold of it. That is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> it's going to be penalties. Oh, and now the pressure will be absolutely on both these players. Who has the best? Keeper, really, that's the question. That's that's really what you have to ask when it comes to penalties. Not the man taking it. Neymar's going to go for the first one. Ooh, and he misses it. Hit the crossbar. Yeah. Miss. Tevez. Ooh. Dassonville. Oh, cool as a cucumber, Dassonville. His calm composure is paying off. Hulk's going to go for another. That's going to be a cheeky little dink in towards the net. Rossenmeyer, but... <clears throat> Pressure's very much on. 
Dustinville just needs to hit the target here. Higuain going for it. He's going to go all straight oh. to the keeper. <laughs> Russell Myers' chance redeemed. Diego Costa with the third penalty for Russell Myers. Oh, so close for Dustinville. He read the right direction but wasn't able to get a hand on it. Now it's Messi, Lionel Messi. Which way is he going to go? Oh, that was cheeky. That was cheeky. So close. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Who is going to make the mistake? David Luiz. Is he going to go for the trademark? Blast! Yes, he is. Straight down the middle. That was risky stuff. Both the players hiding the controllers. Nobody wants to be able to see which direction they're going. Lovetsy. Oh, oh, it's no! guess right! Rossemeyer <laughs> manages to pull off a save that could well put him into the finals. If he scores here, he's through. This is it. It's going to be Philip Luiz. Where's he going with it? Oh, he was no! just right to Jasselville with his legs. <coughs> manages to keep in it. Now he has to score to go the distance. It's going to be Zabaleta. Oh, it's straight down the middle. 3-3. Three, three. Both players missing once. And now Thiago Silva has to try and get it through. No! Let's get right. Jasselville with a fantastic save. Could well be the save that gets him there. Mascherano. Javier Mascherano. If he scores, Dustinville's in the final. <laughs> oh, there it is! Dustinville is through! Rossenmeyer <laughs> will not retain his world championship. He's knocked out. <laughs> Dustinville, so cool throughout the penalties, will be the man that will play Al Shariri in the final.